Um, let's get this started. This is the 10K add-on jam. We hit 10,000 people. God, like a month ago. This is a long time coming. I think we're at like 10,600 now. We've gained quite a bit in such a short time span. Um, we got six submissions and they are all really cool. Uh, we're gonna start with the ones on preview and that's gonna be Inventory Link and Insect Titans. I think we'll start with the Inventory Link add-on by Jaylee. Jaylee, I don't think Jaylee's here. Okay, awesome. I have this open to anyone that wants to join. Like, essentially, if you add Sia Sia, like my name here as I'm speaking as a friend um, on Xbox, then yeah, you should just be able to join my worlds. I'll just, you know, whitelist you through. You have to give me just a second. I, I, my computer's not exactly a supercomputer. It's pretty good, but I got like three displays for monitoring, OBS, of course, recording and streaming, and I'm dual streaming through Discord. So if things are a little bit slow to load in, I apologize. This one's really, they're all really cool. I tried them all out. They're great. But yeah. If you want to just ping me, if you do want to get in to the world and I will add you. You can just add me a CFC and I'll add you back. And I should have these open, all of them to be any number of like multiplayer. So. Well, this is taking exceptional length of time though. It's probably because of the Discord streaming too. Yeah, y'all loaded in before I did. Yeah, I got a bunch of people here. I don't think I got a notification. Oh my God, these little, mm. okay. Let me just run over here real quick so I can add people. Follow, follow, follow. I think I just did that. All right, should be open up and it should be on friends. Okay, so I'm I'm just running around. I'm not doing anything. Someone wants to like collect some blocks or something. Yeah, look at my inventory going up. I'm not even doing anything. Yeah, I'm getting like these like rose bushes or whatever. What's happening? Inventory link unifies everyone's inventory around the world. So if I go up here, if I like TP at S, actually, let me TP, um, it's really a uh, strong goal. Till 35, till. Yeah, see how he fell? And as soon as he fell, I lost everything in my inventory because all the inventories are interconnected. I don't, I don't know what happens with um, Ender Chat. <laughs> I guess it's worth a shot. Let me just like collect everything back. So now everyone's just gonna like have their inventory filled up with a bunch of junk down. But uh, yeah, let me just. Just TP everyone to me real quick. And let me set block. Um, ender chests. I don't know how this works. I guess... I guess that's probably locked into everyone, right? I don't... No, like, no one else can open this and get anything out of it, right? Yeah, it's private to the player. Yeah. Well, that's still super cool or whatever. And maybe we'll have like the scripting capabilities one day to be able to do all that. Absolutely awesome. Little, short little add-on. Great example of what you can do with scripting. Something that would be impossible or very nightmarish um, without it. All right. Let's move on to the next one because the next one's going to be a little bit lengthier. Um, Insect Titans. Oh, dear. We won't have time to play through this one. I think this one's like the most intense one. Um, we'll see. We'll see how far we get through it. This one is like a, a full on, like, as far as I can tell, actual game. And who do I need to add? Or I guess Hatchie could if he's not busy um, to give guest speaker role for this.
Oh, let me, uh, yeah, let me set my... Well, this one has a hard limit of five. Yeah, Ding Soul. I am adding guest speaker. All right, it's added. Can you say hello? Hello. Okay, awesome. Um, is there anyone else we need to add as a guest speaker here? Um, I don't think that anyone is uh, well talking here. I don't think that Funmaster is going to talk, so I guess it's just me. Okay, so do we um, or can we even up the uh, the max player limit or? So yeah, sure. There, there, there's no hard cap. Okay, I just saw. That although it was the like... performance, yeah, although the performance might. Well, drop a bit because gonna, well, this is quite heavy, but I'm yeah. gonna set it to eight. We'll see how it goes. Um, you know, if anyone else wants to join, now is the chance. Got a delightful little let me spectator. Got a delightful little you know starting area. Very cute. I've already tested well here. Let me just kind of you know. Oops. Game mode S. <laughs> fronts you know they got it they got it safely set it's pretty good in other words it's, it's really high quality all right so i guess let's go through this portal takes so long to well get the basic equipment awesome all right so okay i got some stuff there's this menu and this yeah, sidebar. Why don't you uh why don't you just run us through this? Cause this is this is your pack, right? Let me just give credit real quick. Um this is by Member Nine Axoyo, Big Chungus, Con Master, Ding Soul, Eye Blaze, Swerty, and Hero Brian. Yep, that is correct. So yeah, um this pack is all about collecting resources, building towers with them, and defending waves of enemies. And you can already start uh, mining resources by taking your pickaxe or uh, or your axe and while well, chopping down trees or mining stone. This will increase uh, the scoreboard for everyone. So it's a team game, right? And yeah, awesome. um, the balance is uh, quite horrible, <laughs> which is uh, why we might uh, want to have multiple people farming at the same time. Because the towers are kind of expensive. We planned on making abilities or like some kind of upgrades for those uh, tools, but I don't think that we have time for that. But I still think it turned out quite good. Oh yeah, the the blocks get replaced by like area yeah, blocks or something, exactly. so they. Oh, I just saw one yeah. like pop back. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah, they the blocks are getting um, so they they're not gone forever. They will be uh replaced with like invisible bedrock, and after a short while they will uh respawn. And yeah, so the map won't take any any damage because of that. And yeah, um, after we have resources, we can uh, go inside the house, which is the main objective that you have to defend, and start a wave. Mining stone gives stone, and mining wood gives wood, and killing mobs gives, um, well, coins. So after pressing the button, uh, mobs will start to spawn, hopefully. I think it's because of the first wave. Let me start round two. Right? And as you guys can see in the counter, uh, the enemies will now start to stack up and spawn from uh, w uh, from, four, uh, f from four chosen locations. Or... Oh, we lost the connection. Oh. Uh-oh. That's no good. Uh, let me try to reconnect. Yeah, I didn't. I don't think I had any uh, streaming blips, did I? I didn't disconnect on YouTube or Discord, did I? The world is no longer available to join. A uh, con master joined. Yeah. I think maybe aren't there aren't there issues with like multiplayer preview right now? I don't know. But it looks okay. like I can jump back in. Okay, awesome. So there are like fifteen enemies, and they are somewhere. And they are trudging toward the the house. Yep, yep, exactly. So um, yeah, the the enemies will spawn at one of four uh, spawn locations for them. As you um, as you well progress with the waves, um, the mobs might spawn from different uh, locations. But for the first waves, they will spawn at uh, yeah, one of the four locations. Um, someone already found the mobs because they are already dying. 
So yeah, I can see uh, particles coming out over here. Oh yeah, they're, they're yeah, getting wrecked over yeah. there. Yep. I guess I got we have many. Back the house. Uh, yeah. Yep, we have many uh, different types of mobs. This is like the very first one. This is a ant, which is the weakest mob. It's one shotable. It's nothing too big. I think y'all should um y'all should uh, tell me where the uh, the enemies are next time, so we can see them for the stream. Yep. Let me uh, start uh, on so, three. Yep. Now we can start on three. Every time the waves uh, are completely uh, cleared, we can start another wave. The waves become uh, progressively larger and spawn faster, and yeah, now we have to go back searching from where the mobs uh, might have spawned. I think, since you guys have it, I think I'm just going to enter spectator. And that way I can, like, fly around and yep. check your mobs while you're talking about things. Okay. Oh, yeah, look at these little guys. These are the yep. ants. They will, yep, they will prioritize players, but uh, uh, they will prioritize uh, players that are close to them, but mainly uh, go towards the house or, like, the defending object but well, here's a little uh, side fact the uh, house uh, uh, the the house thing uh, at the top right the boss bar isn't actually a boss bar it's a title and with jason ui made it so it looks like a boss bar because the problem for normal boss bar is is when you walk out of it it will just disappear and we couldn't allow that so we used title to make the display for the uh, house health Get him hatchy. Okay, so right, I gotta then. I gotta say aesthetically, like, why did you go with it looks like players are are players a little bit smaller? Yep. I think it was to make the uh other mobs appear larger <laughs> as far as I know, but it's very cute. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we can right. go back in the house and uh wave four is set. Yep. Okay. Yep, wave four is already starting. So um I hope that we will see some we need more wood, yeah, definitely, because um, we want to build a first tower or the first tower because there are multiple towers. Uh, only true right now because the time was just not there, and yeah, so we have to mine wood for uh, the first tower. You can build towers using the menu and also do some uh, scoreboard customization if you like to do that. But yeah, you can uh, build structures using the uh, menu. You can also build walls, which, which is a really cool feature, but uh, I'll leave that for when we have enough resources. Alright, how do I, um when I'm using like a tool, how do I go? Oh, okay, there we go. No longer. Okay. Tools and Oops. abilities. You can upgrade tools and upgrade abilities. What kind of abilities do you have? Oh, resistance, strength, and mining. So you can like up, you can up your like mining speed, for example. Yeah. Mm. Alright, so let me check on how much materials I need for the uh, tower. Sure. Um, Alright, when you have the uh, tool selected, then uh, you can just hover over a block and it will it, it should show you like part a particle range and inside the particle range uh, it indicates whether or not you can buy it or not or place so, it there or not. Do I go to the towers? In yep. the menu? Okay. Yep. Buy new. Mm, buy new. And then you will select the place. Normally it shouldn't flicker that much, but I think it's because of the lag and the 50 enemies. So, so I'm yeah. just going to place it right here. You think that's okay? Yep, sure. Okay. Oh, which you one? Can... Which one's cooler? Really like. Um, I think the mage show is a bit cooler, but... uh. Yeah, we need two thirty-five gold, sixty and. 50. We, yeah, we need, we need a little bit more gold, so let's kill enemies wherever they are. Okay. Um. Let me go out on a hunt to find them real quick. I mean, they will always path towards the house, so uh, it should be. So you set them out pretty far to give the player time to farm resources. Yeah. But um, I, I, I think that the map was actually a bit too large. I think that, uh, well, yes, the time was definitely needed, but I think that it was a little bit too much, in my opinion. Um, which oh. is why the game kind of feels slow, but... Oh, you found them, I, think I, I guess. I found them. Oh, yeah. Yep. Let me just kind of... 
Hello. If you guys don't mind. <laughs> oh, yep. That looks like... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and uh, there's already another mob spawning. It, the other mob is called the Powbug, and it will basically explode whenever it uh, hits a target or gets killed. Oh, dear. I don't know if you can saw it, but... Uh, you can maybe spawn one uh, in as well. Okay, let's see. Uh, what's the what's the prefix? Uh, dest D E S T, okay, and then pow bug. Pow bug. Yep. This thing will roll towards the enemies, and well, when it hits someone, then it will explode. Uh, our oh, house took neat. already damage. Yeah. See? And now, if I'm standing close to it, it will explode. Very cool. Right, our house took a little bit of damage. I don't know uh, uh, how that happened, but uh, yeah, I think we need another wave to be able to afford the tower. So let's start another one. All right, and then I think we'll we'll wrap up after we get the uh, the tower built. But as with any of these, um, and I can add the link to the YouTube video too. Um, just go download them and play them. Like they're they're just right there in the submissions for the jam. Um, after the event is, you know, over after like a day or two, maybe a few days, I'll, uh, put it under the community archive, the event archives and anyone they just, you know, immortalized there in our archives. You'll just be able to play them whenever you want. Yep. There's actually one more key feature that, uh, or two more key, uh, key, uh, features that I may want to present. And one is, uh, one of them being is the wall building system and the other one is being a boss. So... After we clear this wave, we might as well just try that. Uh, I don't know if you guys still have left in the commands to summon in the boss. Um, how was that? Did we, do we have like the command to spawn the boss still? Oh, I found these guys. It's there again. There okay. Go. Okay. So yeah, we might as well just spawn the boss in in a go. second after we. Ah, you guys found it. Yeah, it's quite laggy, but uh. I tested it, and my limit was like around 300 mobs be uh, before it started to be unplayable. But yeah, it's under the, really the resource intensity of everything going yeah. on. Yeah. But 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 this is just like the, I, I I guess it's just the Minecraft's cap, because the script engine is well not reporting uh, anything, so it's just the uh, Minecraft entity cap that is, well hurting the performance. Also, it looks it looks pretty good here. You're you're not you're not based in America, are you? No, I yeah. am living in Germany. Yeah, a very international server uh, with a lot of people from all over the place. Um, yeah, pathfinding is a performance killer, but on my end, it actually looks relatively smooth. Um, it's mostly just you know, I imagine the the network stuff doesn't help. All right, so why don't you uh, go? Wherever you see fit over here, there's one little bug over here. And why don't you why don't you build us a tower? Yep, we are going to build a tower. So I think uh, placing a tower next to the base is uh, the smartest thing. So I'm just gonna buy a new one and try to find a location that fits. For example, here I will select that mage tower, and it will say that we have enough resources. And after I click on, this little fire camp will spawn, which will uh, damage enemies with a firing around them. Oh, nice! Just like a, an aura. Okay, cool. Yep. Like a conduit. It becomes, kinda. yeah, kind of. It it becomes bigger and stronger as you upgrade it, and the uh, 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 uh the, the towers model will actually change or like the build of it, right? So as you upgrade it, there are like three different uh structures for each tower, and yeah, after we upgrade it, it like also upgrades the structure. I. Master, can you give us some resources, or is that not a feature anymore? I'm really impressed by this. It's it's almost like a full like server mini game that you did just yeah. with the script API. Yep. Scarbot coins, wood stones. Oh, those are all scarbots. You have access well, to do all uh, these commands. Well, I don't think. Yeah. And make you an operator and I'll make Common Master an operator yeah like incredible 
Mm -hmm. You got the little UI icons and all that little like custom emojis, I'm guessing. Yep. The sidebar, it's, uh, it's great. Unless I can uh, you do those uh, because uh, I don't know how this database type system works. Yeah, because we um need to store the data somewhere from where the towers are being placed and stuff. So we used like some kind of scoreboard database because the dynamic properties that Minecraft provides, which is a feature that uh, allows a player to store data are very limited and only allow for 10,000 um, 10, uh, characters of worth of strings to be stored in them, which is not always enough, which is why we use like a scoreboard database to uh, yes, uh, store the enemies. And yeah, we have resources. So um, yep, should we try to uh, build a wall first or should we upgrade the uh, thing? Why don't, do you think? why don't you upgrade or something? We should only spend a couple more minutes on this to give time to the other entries. Yep, well, I'm pretty sure this is the, the most involved <laughs> by far. Yeah. So I guess let me uh, upgrade the tower. Uh, upgrade. Upgrade. Okay, now we don't have uh, resources anymore. Yeah, now we're missing on coins. Um, So I might as well just show the boss, right? Um, I'm gonna be spawning it a little bit farther away for- Oh! Uh, actually, with that many resources, I might as well just, uh, show the upgrading. Yeah. Um, yeah. But at oh, least nice. the first like the of it. Approximate, you got like the 10.3k or whatever you handled that to. Yeah. Pretty good. That's pretty great. Okay, towers... Yeah, hopefully it should, like, change its structure very soon. There, uh, it changed the structure. This is like uh, the second level after you upgrade uh, a bit. Oh, wow. People, like, upgrade to, well, a, mod a more modern building. Uh, let me try to actually build a wall. So in the menu, you also have like a tool to build a wall. You can choose one location. Uh, and a second location, for example, this one. Take the position two. Wait. Oh, there we go. And then there's like a small builder for it. And if I submit it, it will cost us gold to. Oh, it will take a while because it's lagging. But normally it's way faster. But it will progressively generate a wall. Wow! Oh my based god! Based on the terrain. That's absolutely awesome. And there's one more thing I want to show, but um, I better go into the creative mode for this. Okay. Um, I will spawn it a bit further away. Uh, someone. Oh. Oh, yep. This. So um, we have actually a boss, right? And this is this uh centipede-looking thing. It uses like um. A system called fabric to control each one of them uh each each one of those well uh parts of it <laughs> yeah we should clear the enemies first before <laughs> we're trying to uh showcase this because it's getting really laggy so um wait let me kill every entity that is a target e uh type on a family the family Cool. Yeah, I think there's yeah, 97 entities and a bunch of players. Yeah, my my, my PC's on fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think I accidentally killed the centipede with it. Yep. But every time you kill it, it like loses one of its parts. And um, let me spawn a new one. Okay. Right. Uh, as you can see, the health bar at the top, right? Every time you hit it, it will take damage. The health bar should... Uh... Oh. Should update accordingly, right? And after a while, um, you can there's a health bar if you get close to it, right? Uh, closer one. Oh wow, yeah, it has a lot of HP. Yep. I guess you're gonna need some of those upgrades. <laughs> yeah, it should spawn at like wave ten, but uh, yep. If you hit one piece uh, of it, the other ones will take damage too, so it doesn't matter which piece you hit. So oh how did you make God. this though? You know, talk about how you, how, how does something like this even exist? 
Right, so this, those are just uh, multiple entities combined, right? And it just died, okay, that shouldn't happen. Maybe it's because of the lag. But uh, yeah, it's using a system called Fabric. Uh, I didn't make that, uh, the other one uh, made that. But yeah, it's using a system called Fabric, which like um, explains the movement of like uh, uh, between points, so that it uh, so that the um, entity allows for this uh, has this bendy movement kind of if you think about it. Yeah. And yeah, it it, it was done using the set velocity function from Game Test and a lot of math, which I'm not quite sure about uh, because well I didn't make that system. Um, I don't think that he's in the VC right now who made the system. No, but uh, I want to credit him. Uh, it was Big Chungus who made all that. Oh, wow. And, um, like, the movement of the boss. And then um, for the boss bar, right, I already explained it earlier. This is using a title and not actually a boss bar. Yeah. Yeah, this was because, well, if you get uh, too far away, it just wouldn't display it, which is why we use title. And it also allowed us for, well, customizing uh, the texture of it, which is really nice, I guess. And yeah, there so, are a few more mobs that, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. No, I, I strongly suggest um, anyone take the time to, you know, download this and, and take a look at it too, because it is um, really just all around extremely impressive like work like it really is like a full like server-esque mini game you know that is just full of quality um i guess my final question is um you know if there's one thing that you know it could be like a feature that you don't have or just a developer convenience or whatever in the script api you know what 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 would you have if you could have it a database, probably. I mean, uh, this is more like uh, the backend stuff, right? It's not very visible to the player, but storing data in Minecraft is really hard right now, and there's no efficient way to do so. So uh, a database system like the dynamic properties, but not as limited as the dynamic properties, would be probably very good. Okay. No, awesome. Thank you so much. I mean, truly marvelous work. Thanks. All right, so I think I can exit preview now and give me one second and just do Minecraft. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, what should we do next? Um, Hatchie, you around? Yeah. Okay, maybe you could alleviate some concerns here. I'm not sure we're going to get this one working, but Big Redstone, that is you, right? Yeah. All right. You had no assistance. Wasn't this just by you? Just me. Awesome. Let me go over there. All right. Yeah, you can find this in the Jam Submissions. Big Redstone only requires creator features and beta APIs. And it looks like it's supposed to be redstone, but big. Yeah. Okay, let me see. Uh, uh, you should, people should be able to join me if they want a stable client now. Um, but I figured this is about what I needed to give myself the, you know, Hatchy large redstone block preview, right? Um, no, actually. Uh, oh. Uh, there. Oh, actually, it might be. Uh, <laughs> but I don't. I don't think those. I got the redstone block working. They should be in your inventory, though. The yeah. um. Let me just clear this blocks. out. So no, okay, great. I need to go to. Wait, is it this? Yeah. It's the big redstone wire. The large dispenser, large lamp. Okay, so how do I activate these then? Uh, there should be a lever somewhere. Oh, a lever. Let's see. Um. Oh yeah, that's a big lever. Okay. Uh, and where am I? Hold on, let me TP at a, a stronghold. All right. 
Well, actually, I should probably get some flat terrain. Does it work along edges? I guess let me just place this down first. Yeah, so I figured maybe maybe I just like mistakenly went for. Oop, right, let me try it here. There we go. Mistakenly went for the um the big redstone block, thinking that's how that worked first. So wait, I can do this. Oh, and it does turn and stuff. Okay, let's uh let's set the time to midnight and get this big lamp going. So wait, if I flip this switch. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it can't, yeah, there's no like light up. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Time set, noon. Okay, so it does activate and deactivate this. Okay, so I was just mistaken. <laughs> I'm sorry about earlier. <laughs> His pack definitely does work. Sumi is lighting herself up. She's in the box. Boop. <laughs> What the heck is this dispenser? Get out of here, Sumi. Here we go. How does the does the dispenser work? Uh, yeah, it should. Oh, it fires giant arrows. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let me. You know, I've always wanted to do this. Okay, yeah, wait, we need to, can we, is it possible to angle these? Do they shoot up? Sorry? The, the, uh, the dispensers, is it possible to, like, angle them or, like, I don't know yeah, what else is possible in your pack. They should be, uh, if you place them down while looking a different direction. Why don't you, why don't you take the lead if you, are you able to, yeah. Oh, why is it not? There uh, we go. Because of the arrow, okay. maybe, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, there. So we're just gonna right, let's build a little, get a little trap going here. It's when I like trap a bunch of skeletons in and just you know blow them to kingdom come. If y'all don't mind, because I kind of hate skeletons. I guess we can just get like a skeleton spawner. Here we go. So I'll do this. Tilled, repeating, command block. And it's gonna summon skeleton. And it's going to have a delay of like 10 and 17. <laughs> <laughs> Payback, bitch. <laughs> That's pretty good. Okay, so why, why, why big redstone? <laughs> well, uh, um, uh, originally I thought the script API could handle uh, redstone connections. Uh, it can't, but um, it can't. Uh, no, oh. it can't. But I got hooked on the idea of a giant red stain. So you had to manually like manage all these different states and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh dear! Wow. And you really did handle like the the different like turns and the redstone dust and everything. Yeah. <laughs> so what what is this? Are these like tiles or entities? Like what? I mean, this the, one's animated, no so it's, entities, yeah. So even the redstone dust isn't. Oh my god! Yeah. Like part visibility and like the render controllers and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> did you what, what new what new features? I got I guess newest features have you used? Did you use like the new execute for like aligning to the block grid? No, uh, it's all script API. Um, oh, you did everything in the script API. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. That is... That sounds painful. I mean, the script API is very fluid and dynamic, but, like, wow. Is this actually, like... This looks like it's perfectly aligned. So, if I just take another one of these... Okay, wait. I guess uh, it depends on where I place it. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. There we go. Okay, yeah, and it's... Yeah, it's pretty aligned. Wow. Okay, so uh, what was the most painful thing about making this? 
uh, the random crashes. Uh, oh, the random crashes. Uh-oh. Infinite loops of back overflows or some strange <laughs> errors. Or... <laughs> um, but it's it looks like it it actually works pretty well. I mean, like it needs like very minor adjustments with like uh, yeah, placements I'm... and stuff to be pretty robust. Yeah, well, I'm surprised it hasn't crashed yet. Uh... <laughs> Wait, let's let's try to let's, let's just kind of you know, just kind of just mess around with the redstone. Let's just, I don't exactly understand how this works, but it it does have power. It also does have like a distance or whatever. It's not just like a chain linked chain or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So how do I? I guess I can go up here. Do I need to, uh, um... Yeah, you do. Wait, I can't. Oh, okay. So can it, like... Oh, my God. That's super cool. Uh oh Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I guess I need to... Here we go. Oh, I'm really bad at this. Oh, okay. Oh, you didn't even make a repeater. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, I didn't. Watch it. <laughs> yeah, that would that would be pain. <laughs> wow, that's super cool. Uh, I didn't even think. Uh, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't think it was going to be possible like this. And I'm really stunned by the um, the redstone power thing because I really thought there was like a the API for that. Is it broken? Uh, I I, I no idea. Um. Yeah, it, I couldn't find anything on it. Interesting. Okay, so um, I'm guessing that would be like, if that is in there or if it's not added yet, that would be like the number one thing that would want, oh my God, Luther. Okay, well, let me just kind of kick. How do I kick? There we go. There we go. Bye-bye. Oops. Um, so... Well, is that the number one thing that you could have to, like, make it better, like, in your opinion? Like, would be, like, a robust, like, Redstone interface in the Script API? Um, yeah, I think that would definitely be one of the things I wanted added. Anything else? Um, well, it was quite difficult to debug nice. some of the stuff, but that might just be because I was using, um regolith and the the uh what they call the debuggers they give don't really work if your source is not in the minecraft folders so it was more of like a, a tooling thing than than like yeah. the actual okay well no this is this is really cute and extremely impressive especially with the the redstone dust is um I'm I'm really surprised you're able to get it working that well, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Very good job. Thank you so much, Etsy. Alright, what's next? Uh how about Minecraft but big? Let's see, who is this? This has to be Zach. A strongle. You know, I'll just uh plug your your YouTube, right? <laughs> Wait, let me let me give this poor guy um wait. Is he on or is he just joining the games? Oh there you are. Zach. Let me make you be able to talk. Speaker. Guest speaker. What in tarnation? Wait a minute. Oh. Oop. <laughs> Get back here. <laughs> okay, so I don't know if Zach can talk. If he could, I don't know what he would say. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so wait, let me let me just start over. Let me start over. Let me go back. This is this is not Minecraft but fat. This is this is Minecraft but big. 
Okay, but what what exactly does that mean? So apparently, when you hit something, every time you hit it, it gets bigger. So um, this is kind of. Oh, you can't talk, Zach. Because of permissions or because uh, you just can't. Perms. Oh my god. I may have made a mistake. <laughs> Let me just kind of. <laughs> okay, so obviously this is not a take on. Uh oh, this is obviously not a take on Minecraft, but fat, but with um <laughs> size scaling instead. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> okay. Yeah. One, can you hear me? Oh, awesome. Yeah. Thanks okay. to whoever fixed that. Uh, you have to leave and rejoin for it to fix the permissions. Oh, it's interesting. Uh, basically, any mob you hit just makes it bigger. Uh, for this to work, you have to add the Minecraft scale component to the entity, or it doesn't work. <laughs> uh, I guess. I guess my first question is why. <laughs> uh. Because I can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, awesome. Let me just add I didn't real realize quick. this, but uh, the collision box does get bigger um, and starts to get like messed up a little bit. So at a certain point, you won't be able to move properly or like mine any blocks. <laughs> I mean, I don't even. God, look at this. I'm already so big and I, I, I just can't even. See anything? So it looks like um like something like custom cameras. If they be able to like offset the camera using data driven add ons would be very helpful for this. Yeah, I wanted to do something like that, but I, I ended up just doing this as <laughs> easily as I could. It's like two lines. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, and maybe like a, a render distance increase for <laughs> attack on Titan. <laughs> But you could summon anything and it should it should work with it. Like if you summon a turtle, it'll start getting bigger when you hit it. Um, is it responsive to like their relative health or is it just like every hit like how did how did you code uh, it? How did you do this? It's any it, it basically takes the amount of damage you did to the entity and then scales up the entity by that damage amount. I only have the scale resetting once you die. So technically there's no upper limit, but it can get really laggy. <laughs> oh yeah, I can't even wait. Let me try this again. Let me get the turtle. And yeah, resistance. Oh, it's a baby. Oh. Yeah, so it's it's immune to scale because it's not taking damage. So I have to Let's see. Let me zoom out and take a look. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't realize it moved the name tag up there too. <laughs> wow. Um yeah, this is this is a pretty good follow up to um you know the the laser dogs. <laughs> very very nice. I uh, I can definitely see like uh, do you do you think it's possible to like even play this or whatever like play a survival 
play through like are you gonna are you gonna get like stuck in a cave or something you're you're definitely gonna get stuck i <laughs> probably could have implemented a way to shrink back down by like eating food or something but it wasn't in the budget for my resources <laughs> yeah of course um so okay what um you, you didn't do this you did this with like in a, uh, in the editing right uh it's like four lines of javascript oh oh dear <laughs> oh my what well, what does the javascript do uh, it, it just scales up the scale component. I, I'm getting the scale component from the entity, and then I'm just scaling it up by the amount of damage they would take. Oh, I didn't even know. You Can you... Are you having to add component groups based on, like, somebody, or does it? can you just set the scale value directly from scripting? Uh, the entity has to have the scale component. Uh, otherwise, it won't be have anything to scale up. So I... Mean... I, I do you do you have to add like a bunch of different scale components and component groups, or can you just scale the number in scripting? You can just scale it in scripting. Ah, I did not know that. That is really good. Here, I can. Let me find it. <laughs> I'll put it in the chat. <laughs> Kill it's so small. <laughs> He's just stuck. We've trapped him. Finally. I'm gonna like. So are you know... are other entities not scaling up? Oh, they are. They absolutely are. Oh, okay. <laughs> no i just i didn't even know that was a thing i i'm not exactly a scripting expert or whatever and it's kind of an infancy what you can use in the stable but i didn't realize you could just take you know components like scale or whatever and just you know just raise them based on computed value and scripting that's really great i put the entire uh script that's in this add-on into the uh, chat that's awesome no yeah i think i should us to stop but like this 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 would make like for a really hilarious like mini game if you set like a map up and you balance it out correctly yeah thank you so much zach a strong i will plug your i'll plug your youtube later just harass me <laughs> okay awesome all right let's see what's up we got two more um let's do home potion and let me take a look at the information here submissions go to home potion by and I, I screwed this up last time it's like legend legend <laughs> yeah so okay just for context because I, I i'm bad at hosting um Everyone here knows this, but the the theme of the jam was go big or go home. And you've seen things be big or, you know, big big in scope, big in scale, just big or whatever. Um, I think this entrant decided to go home. So you can, let me just give at a home potion. This one's a really small one. This is a, another like simple demo that uses scripting and I'm going to hold the potion and apparently I can go over here. Let me uh, do something real quick. Let me game rule, keep inventory true. I don't know if this resets on death, but I'm just going to mine this and it says the home position is set. So someone, someone just drop down here and kill me. Oh no. Okay. Wait, I can just kind of, there we go. Okay, so I'm somewhere over here. Oh, yeah, okay. So awesome. So it retains your, yeah, okay. Hold on one second. Give at a potion. There we go. So what you do is you hold the, you hold the uh, full home potion and you mine a block and then when you drink it, you'll be able to pop back. So if you keep this in like an ender chest or whatever, and you want to hop right back into the action, um, you can do that. I don't think this um, add-on is fleshed out for like gameplay. I don't know that there's like a crafting recipe for it. Here, so I'm gonna, wait, can I even get away from Simiko before he kills me? Here we go. 
There we go. Oh no, I'm going to die. Let me just hop back over here. Ooh, pretty. Let's cave. I'm gonna respawn. I wanna hop right back in the action. Just drink this. Get the little potions. <laughs> Smack it one time. Yeah, and it's got the, uh, it's got two uses, it looks like. Very, very, very cool. So, thank you, Legend. <laughs> Diana Sakana trying to just absolutely destroy me. Let me just kind of, nope. No satisfaction, sorry. All right, one more. We got Eclipse. Let me, who do I need to add? Need to scroll on this list. That's gonna be Hyacinth with the speaker. And you might, I think you need to like disconnect and reconnect. And then Electrica, let me get you with the, oh, Discord is not being very nice. All right, so y'all should be good to go. You might need to disconnect and reconnect based on what someone said earlier. Awesome. Hello, Electrica. Hello. Yeah, I can see you lighting up. Um, Hyacinth, you good to go? Let me go ahead and start loading this world because it's... um. It's in yeah, it's going to take a little bit to load. It's a, this world generation here, and uh, world generation is extremely expensive, and my computer is about on its last leg. But uh, if you're just playing this, if you're just looking around, like single player or whatever, it shouldn't do anything. No, I can't hear you right now, Hyacinth. Let me verify your permissions. A guest speaker and member. Yeah, so for some like reason he has issues with his mic and stuff like that. It just makes no sense. Well, that's unfortunate. I mean, if it has to just be you, that's fine. But yeah, I can guarantee that your permissions are set, Hyacinth. We don't have any overrides on you here, so. Oh, it's getting there. I'm in. Oh, awesome. This is probably uh, better off done in creative for this. Yeah. No creative. At a... No. No. There you no go. Satisfaction. All right. Um, well, anyways, if you actually want to uh, start doing anything, you actually have to do slash function uh, welcome. There's a little welcome function there for oh. specifically this. Oh, no, you trapped me. <laughs> you trapped me. Help. I'm in a cage. Uh, no. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> can, can, we, can we be in spectator for this? I mean, there's no nothing wrong with doing it, but a lot of the stuff you cannot be in spectator for. Okay. I'm pretty so, sure the TNT is not going to do as much as what I'm about to use. So this is like a this is like a hub, right? Not exactly. It's based. It's the antechamber. It's where you start building and everything. There's a couple of things you can build with. You've got a you know, some sort of construction block, and then we got a steel hammer. King okay. Dark was in charge in charge of the building system, which is really helpful. It's really nice to have him here. Let me scroll. Who all, who all you, did this one? Uh, you and me, Hyacinth, Prodigal, Jay Lee, and King Dark. Okay, awesome. All right, thank you. Yeah, I just want to get the attribution out of the way first. But uh, we actually do plan on continuing this project. Oh, neat. We do have a server available for anyone who wants to join it because we're going to be posting updates and stuff like that. So basically okay. for now, the hammer, you can only uh, make a battery for some reason. I think that it was actually something being done for something else, but I guess it was never put in. If it was, then my bad, because I must have missed. Oh, uh, I see. So you can build... Different. Yeah, you okay. can build different things if you have the item. So I guess broadly, what what is this add-on about? Basically, it is um. Basically, you've crash landed on a world. There's originally supposed to be a rocket somewhere, like a crash rocket or something. But basically, what happened is you crashed on the moon. 
Now, this is set for the future, so like an alien race or something like that. But okay. basically, you've crashed on the moon, and then you have to gather resources on the moon and stuff to build your base and eventually get make a rocket to go back home. Okay, awesome. So it's it's kind of like the premise of like Factorio or something. Very cool. Instead of um, go big or go home, I guess you could say it's go big and go home for this one. Because <laughs> I'm also going big. Let me um, where are you at right now? I've got something to show you. <laughs> All right, I'm just. This gonna... may or may not cause problems with your PC because it's a lot slower. Uh oh. Uh, I hope you can load structures. But here. How about I give you? Oh. Whoa. Uh yeah, your PC is taking a toll. On this wow, part. actually, that was um instant on stream. Oh okay. That right there is the large crater. We I actually built everything by hand except for the crater shape and stuff like that. Greater shape and stuff I did using World Edit, which was really helpful because I was not going to build everything by hand. So that's the large crater. The it's less common than a little crater. The little crater's over here. So there's a bunch of ores everywhere, and yeah, basically, this is where this is basically a place where you get a whole bunch of ores, which makes sense because meteors. They're going to have a lot more materials and stuff like that than if you just find them out in the world. I might have ever done it, but there's actually a few different ores here. We've got New York Iron Ore, Lunar Silicon Ore, Lunar Titanium. There's a whole bunch of different ores here that you can get. And so you, like, refine these into, like, buildings... Or like yeah, we, can, we have we do have to refine them, but we can't. We didn't have anything available for it yet. We didn't have time for it. Okay. <laughs> so and so in the giant. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was actually a test entity, not something you were actually supposed to do anything with. But we also have some. We also have another entity. I'm not sure if it works. Ah, uh, never mind. It looks like it's over here flying. Is it supposed to be a builder drone or something like that? But it did take a little bit to uh, do everything here. Uh, let me get a whole bunch of these uh, blocks and materials and stuff out and show you what the building system's doing. Uh, way down. Gamer of commands. Yeah, I'll give you up. Oh, now I'm like, I think I'm about to crash. Oh dear. Wait, what was, something was really laggy. Hmm, I have no idea. Uh, I'm not sure where, I think the builder is only accessible by commands right now. So I'm going to have to have someone place down the block to show you guys what's going on with this. All right, why don't you, um, I'm going to teleport to you. Oh, I guess we're going to teleport everyone. <laughs> uh, yeah. Mode, creative. That A. Okay, everyone's in creative mode. Let me go back to Discord real quick. I'm going to kind of finagle this with um, Hyacinth. <laughs> Okay, so tell me about the the world gen too, because of course, for those that don't know, like world gen is my like love and passion, or whatever. You use like noise, I'm guessing noise octaves, to get this terrain. But there's there's something underground, right? Yes, we have some caves underneath of the surface. Currently, they do, they aren't accessible. I'm guessing because the uh, coordinates are a little too high. The coordinates are all the way up at 192. For some reason, the caves just don't work. But yeah, you should probably check out the uh, the building system as well. See, so you don't. There's either there's probably you actually have to have blocks above the area. Like you, there can't be blocks underneath of it. Otherwise, it's just gonna not work. Where'd you go? I'm coming back up. Just looking around the the world gen. Okay, so the building feature. Um, 
Do I go to Hyacinth here, or where do I go? Uh, I don't even know where you're at. Oh, yeah. I, I don't see spectator. you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Game mode creative. Okay, so I'm so back don't in see you. the, uh, wait, let me TP. Add S, Electrica. There you are. Okay, um, you can already see that, some, that uh, this person right here, Hyacinth, is actually trying to test out and see what's going on with it. Basically, I already have all the materials available specifically for this reason. Uh, let me go on to get it out here and place the builder. So basically, you open up the builder and it gives you a UI. I'm just going to build, let's say, the crafting room. Okay. This is where everything's crafting and stuff like that. There was supposed to be an AI in here, but I think something happened to it. Not sure exactly what happened. But there's a whole bunch of other ones. Uh, a whole bunch of, like, buildings. There's a hallway right here. Yeah, refining stations or something. Originally, yes. Let's say I want to turn right. There's a little turn over here to turn right as well. There's a lot of interesting different structures in here, and we plan on expanding them. Yeah, let me see. Let me uh, see where's the water room? Because I've missed the, uh, I missed some of the buildings as I was looking around. Hmm. There's blocks so in the direction. Okay. You put these blocks. I these blocks are like it. jigsaw parts, and you. Yeah, kind of. Okay. It's honestly not far off of what it is. And there's the water room. Wait. Yeah. I forgot how large this thing is. <laughs> this thing's a pretty big structure, so I'm probably going to have to go up into the sky to show this one. Okay. Let me teleport to you. Let me eat. It got little particles. Oh. Well, that's really cool. So after you get the resources, the idea is this machine just kind of generates the space for you. Yes. But I think there was supposed to be plans for it to animate. Like, here we go. Uh, let me grab the steel hammer out. Because of the grindstones, it breaks everything. But I'm just going to grab out the steel hammer real quick. Blocks. Uh, yeah, this is the problem I was talking about with uh, King, where it just doesn't like placing anything sometimes. But it but the battery actually builds itself. That's really neat. So, what did you guys use to make, you know, that? Like the animated building or whatever. Did y'all use the script API? Yeah, I think King actually used the script API to do everything for this. <clears throat> I think I actually scaled up the caves a bit as well. Like, I think there's a couple of large... They're actually a bit larger than any of the older caves. We got a whole bunch of different items. We had the textures rushed because um, I did something dumb and forgot to mention that we needed the textures for the items done. Oh. So that's my fault. But uh. Oh, I see how hey, your, yeah. the system works. Like it floods with air and then it replaces. Okay, very neat. So, <laughs> so, what? What? Uh, it looks like you guys like you really like went like. You went big in like Endeavor, like absolutely. What what do you guys want to do with this in the future? We're actually planning on continuing to flesh out the system and get some other stuff done as well as the crafting and stuff eventually. At least I'm pretty sure that's what we're doing. And have like drones and like little robots and Yeah. And, just and eventually have some actual enemies instead of the classical Minecraft mobs. We were planning on getting rid of those as well. Yeah. No, it's awesome. Um, what? Okay, uh, I saw that King Dark said um, the whole building system is made using the script API. And, you know, obviously it's still a work in progress. Uh, what, what's thing, what do you want to add next with what you have, like, right this second? And, you know, what, what kind of tools do you think you want from Mojang to make it easier for you? Because I'm sure, like, something like, 
you can't can, you can't place features using the script API, can you? You can only place structures, and even that would be yeah. I don't think you right? can place. I don't think you can place features no. So something that's like feature placement, and without using commands, place structures. Just world generation integration into the the uh, script API would be a pretty good deal, huh? Hmm. Who's pinging me? We get a comment. It's just like meteor showers that rain on your parade. <laughs> you you build like you spend like forever building like the most complex stuff, and then you get <laughs> like this happens. <laughs> Don't mind me just making a giant hole with these meteors. No, this is this is really cool, and I see a lot of potential here, and I definitely see where. Um, the script API would be very helpful with, um, you know, in terms of like world generation, especially in like massive clearances. And that, that could also lead into, um, you know, cause they, they have like the editor endeavor that they're attempting right now and having better world gen features with that would be extremely useful. I'm sure. You think, um, cause uh, Electrica, did you do did you do the world generation? Oh, wait. Let yes, me... I did all the world generation. Hold on, I need to like my computer's gonna crash if I don't. Uh oh, I can't even pull up the command interface. Yeah, I might be gone. Uh, so, okay. Um. Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh oh. Oh no. This, this is not good. Okay. Well, anyway. Um. <laughs> Do you think that, you know how they have like the hook for like particle effects or whatever in the script API, you can bond Molang. Do you think like chunk bound Molang would be useful? Yeah, let me I'm not sure. Point. I've never actually heard of that. Yeah. Well, essentially, if you could imagine like the ability to um, set Molang for like a feature rule, for example, using the script API, do you think that would be useful for like, you know, more dynamic, more convenient generation? Honestly, more convenient world generation would be really helpful, but specifically the thing I'm having problems with with that is the fact that we can't really randomize the seed very well. So I had to actually go in and use a little bit of a hack. I was able to get it to somewhat randomize, but not by a lot. But what yeah. I did for that was um, I, instead of, well, you know how people would use only v.originx for... Uh, the variable for the generation. Yeah. I mixed that up with v.world. So it randomized based on your position in the in the world. Okay. Well, that's cool. It doesn't yeah. work 100%, but it's actually not bad. Well, yeah, because I know if you want to use, like, query.noise, you're locked out of doing anything truly dynamic. And with no hooks into the script API for, like, world generation and no custom biomes and no... Um, dimensions um it's impressive that you got really anything to work here but the they building stuff, the script working. stuff and building stuff is also like awesome and i'm really excited to see you know how far you guys are able to take this all right now thank you guys thanks so much electrica and team Okay. No, um well these are these were great. I mean, funny, short, some of them intense and impressive. Um really great work from our our teams. Really excited. Who knows, you know. Uh, we we do these what every like 6 to 8 months every year somewhere in there. We'll get together again one day and um We'll see how far Mojang is able to take it. You know, it seems like more world generation features, um, maybe something like cameras or, you know, maybe easier UI. That kind of stuff seems to be like the top, you know, needs for people to keep going and keep, you know, building out what they want on this platform. So... Um, I guess that's it. Um, thank you everyone for joining. 
and we'll do this again. And remember, uh, 10K Jam submissions, I'll try to connect everything up in um, YouTube for any of our viewers there and just go download them. Um, you know, they're not like marketplace content or whatever. It's all open there. I don't know if anyone attached a license, but um, all I'm saying is the files are up. Maybe someone did, but <laughs> the files are up and you can go take a look, you know, try, try not to, you know, just blatantly rip off this stuff. Um, please, you know, learn from it. And yeah, can't wait to do this again down the road. See what crazy stuff people can come up with with new tech then. Thank you all so much for joining and adios.